Story. Meantime, a North County nonprofit is coming up on a remarkable milestone. 44 years of serving the special needs community. Join us now to talk more about the work the nonprofit does and how they're celebrating is Chief Development Officer Dan DeSager. Dan, so good to see you. Thank you for being here. Oh, thank you, Teresa. It's great to be here. Right, congratulations, 44 <laughs> years. And what a Thanks. blessing for San Diego County, this nonprofit that's based in Oceanside and San, Mar and San Marcos, helping those with special needs. Tell us about Terry. So it is a pretty amazing story. Um, Terry is an acronym. It stands for Training uh, Education Resource Institute. And 44 years ago, um, it was started out of Cheryl Kilmer's house. And back in 1980, kids were being warehoused in institutions if they were intellectually disabled. And that just was appalling to Cheryl, and she made it a life mission to make that change. So our mission is to change the way people see and help and empower the special needs community. So 44 years later, so much has changed, and Terry has morphed, and we're really excited about a brand new Terry Campus of Life, which is a 20-acre facility that will increase services to this, you know, to this community. And how do you provide care for those with special needs? What are the services? So originally, it began with um, direct services, and we actually have a home where, you know, guys live together for 40 years. Right. in a permanent home and today there's about six you know we have about 20 different programs across six different we call them pillars of care and tell us about those six pillars of care so we've got education and we've we actually what's very unique is it's a, a really lifespan of care so we've got early intervention for the kids we've got uh, school systems where we've got um, if, if a child is referred out of the public school system and needs special uh, individual care that's what we do we have uh, um, social enterprise on campus. We have a vocational school, and basically the whole idea is to be able to to um, assist across the full spectrum of of autism and other intellectual disabilities. From what age group are you treating? Is it from infants to seniors? It is lately. So even a two-year-old, once there's a diagnosis, which there's a lot more diagnosis than there used to be, that will put a family in a tailspin. Like this isn't what I. I don't know what to do. People feel alone. And so we've got some early intervention training and, and coaching for the, for the families. And then we are available as a school system. Uh, once kids age out of the special education system, then you've really got a gap. And so we've got adult programs. In fact, we just moved 150 new adults from our Oceanside into our latest building on the Campus of Life, which is the Performing Arts Center. And seeing their faces, well, that was a very good day. Aww. That was a very good day. Thank you for bringing light to this as well. When you look at the county overall, do you feel there is a growing need for services for those with special needs? There's actually studies that show with the increase in diagnosis. You know, some of us even say one out of eight families are impacted with a neurodiverse challenge. Um, we don't say that's broken. In fact, what is normal anyways, but it is a challenge. And so there's extra services. California is actually... Uh, the gap is growing. So there's more diagnosis, less services available, and Terry's being very ambitious in building, privately building this campus to triple the amount of services so we can help other people. Yeah. And before we go, how does a family learn about Terry? Do you work with the county? Do you <clears throat> work with schools? We do all the above. And so we work very closely with San Diego Regional Center. That's usually the first stop for a family to navigate through all of that. We work with the school systems, insurance plans, uh, respite families can call. We've got a whole respite program where they just might need four hours on a Saturday. Okay. You know, things like that. And what is the website for Terry for those who want to learn more about so it? So there's two. There's one called campusoflife.org, and that's where you can actually look at some of our social enterprises. Our theater is actually in the day program. It's for our guys. In the evenings and the weekends, we're, we're starting to sell out concerts. So it's actually a community. Our goal is that we would bring the two communities together. And so we can truly be an inclusive model. Well, you guys will definitely do it. It's well, a lot of fun. All right. Well, Dan, thank you so much for being here oh, and sharing you. more about Terry in the North County. Yes. Right. Thank you so much. Our pleasure. All right. Okay. Logan? Teresa, thanks.